All right, guys, just got in from work. As you can see, I got my work attire on here. Uh, got the scent crusher closet, fixing to get it going. Opening day of uh, archery season, uh, archery velvet season in Tennessee. So we're gonna get the scent crusher closet going. And uh, we are also, because we're pressed for time, we're gonna throw some of this uh, Alema Shield uh, core body foam on. I don't have time to jump in the shower. I know that seems crazy, but I'm telling you, this stuff right here is awesome. It works, and uh, if you don't don't have it, you better get some because uh, this stuff is amazing. So, anyway, we're gonna get the scent crusher closet going and get this on, throw our clothes on, and we'll see you in the truck. All right, guys, as you can tell, we're geared up. We've got run our scent crusher closet here. That's awesome too. So, special thanks to scent crusher. Uh, Alema Shield, tons of other sponsors, but we'll, we'll, we'll get more into that. Uh, this is our new series that we're starting. Um, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be, we're gonna have a lot of footage. Uh, it may all not be kills, but it's gonna be awesome because it's gonna tell a story and tell how we get to the point to where we do kill. So um, keep your fingers crossed for tonight. We know there's a couple of good deer running around on this property. So hopefully one of them slips up and comes by. Justin's up first. I'm behind the camera and we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, get my stuff here, got my harness. Uh, Heath's dad actually put me on, uh, he put me on carrying a turkey vest into the deer stand. You can get a lot more in it. It's a lot more comfortable to, uh, to hike in. So we're gonna try it out tonight, see what we think about it. Trying to find a place for everything. Seems like I got enough pockets. So, yeah, it seems to work out great. Waiting on Heath to get ready. Uh, good thing about uh, Heath is we've been friends for 20 plus years and uh, we're next door neighbors now. I, me and him live right beside each other, so perfect when you're going hunting. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to get ready and, uh, like I said, got my harness. I got some uh, goodies to take into the woods with us. I'm gonna have to grab a few waters, I know, and uh, I think we'll be pretty much ready to go get this. So, uh, anyhow, let's let's go get them. All right, guys, we uh, we're uh, we're loaded up here, getting out of the driveway. Got about a about a 10 minute drive to where we're going to be hunting this weekend. Um, deer in the area, hunted there before. Uh, matter of fact, shot probably one of the biggest deer I ever would have killed on the property. Uh, probably biggest deer I ever would have killed in the county I'm hunting in. I uh, just never did find him um, a few years ago. So definitely hopeful over here. I know there's, uh, I know there's a lot of deer in the area just a matter of one walking by you know that's that's all it takes um, but regardless this is going to be our first set in the deer woods this year so it's going to be a good evening whether whether anything happens or not so uh, let's hope the uh, weather holds off it's hot about 89 degrees and uh, and hot i noticed uh, coming home there across the mountain was raining so Sometimes there's some, of course, pop up thunder storms with been hot like this, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. If not, we can get back to the truck and I don't know, maybe, maybe a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if we're, if we're jogging. <laughs> yeah, so literally a minute. We're not, we're not, not far, so. Uh, these deer kind of funnel bed on one ridge bed on one ridge that's kind of facing us. Uh, one hand dead there and there. Phone. And, uh, and bed in behind us, but the majority of the deer we've seen have come down off the ridge there, kind of that we're gonna be facing. So hopefully, uh, hopefully a big one steps out, headed out into the field uh, right there at last light. We hope, maybe sooner, but. Yeah, I'm hoping to have a if all goes the way you want things to go, which that never has happened with me and Heath, but 
It'd be nice to get a bachelor group and get a couple. I mean, I'd even be happy with a couple decent eight pointers on the velvet hunt. So, yeah. um, especially you know in northeast Tennessee where we're at, you're just not going to kill a monster. You might as well get that out of the books. Yeah. If you're looking for a good deer, if you can get one about a 120, oh yeah, you'll be uh, you'll be doing something good. So. And there, there is some deer like that around here. It's just like I said, the fact of finding them. But this time of year, typically, if you got one, that that other bruiser is going to be with him. So, uh, in those bachelor groups, so maybe uh, maybe things will pan out here for us. Uh, nothing else. We're going to be in the woods, uh, about 20 foot up in the air. So that makes things a lot better too. Yep, not at work right now. It's been one of them weeks that sitting in the woods is exactly what you need. So I'm excited to get there. Like I said, we got about a seven, eight minute drive now. So let's head on over that way. some of that lemon shield core body foam worked really great if you ain't got time for a shower which uh, exactly what we were looking like so you just take that foam it's good for any body parts it's good for your hair uh, basically you can use this stuff and not bathe for days making fun of my hat here by the way. Hey man, beer season started right here. See y'all out there. I got your brow bags, don't you? Yeah, I put two new ones in there. Pretty quick little hike here. Tucked away hunting on some of uh, my family land. Uh, it's in a neighborhood. Well, not in a neighborhood, but it's very close to one. Um, where we hunt at, you legally got to be 100 yards away from a dwelling. And we're further away than that, but we're, we're still in a, in a pretty good spot to see some buck look at that he's a deer over here where's it at yeah yeah is that a buck he thinks it's a bit slow so go bedded right in there you can go easy it's still right there i think see it no we just seen a deer about 200 yards out in the patch of woods we're going to be hunting in, so. Like 
exciting stuff. So we're going to get to the stand here. We'll check back in with you guys. Some, some days you uh, you gotta battle the mosquitoes, and I brought the ticket to fight them this evening. So we're gonna test this thing out. Got the bow hanger there. Bow hanger there. Here's my stand set up. Like I said, Heath's gonna be on the camera tonight, so we've got the camera arm here. Heath's got his set up there. Got the thermocell going. Sit down. Got some NAP Spitfire double crosses. Just itching to go through something. Stay steady or not. It's only supposed to light sprinkle for about seven minutes, so I think we'll be okay. Don't matter if it pulls it down, I ain't going nowhere. Friday, uh, August 23rd. It's our first bail to hunt that we've actually got to participate in. Um, last year we were actually, I don't know, about 300, 400 miles from here <laughs> working, so we didn't get to, uh, didn't get to sit in on it. Uh, be pretty cool to take a buck in velvet. I've, I've never done it. I've hunted many years and actually last year was the first year that I've known of them doing it so it'd be pretty neat to uh, to, to take one but uh, we've seen one deer coming in we've not seen anything from the stand yet but it's still early it's hot uh, about six o'clock so um, the deer it started drizzling rain I thought maybe they those deer might uh, get up and start moving around but like I say, it's still early. This is kind of like a pinch point right here for for these deer. Uh, there's a big funnel right here. It funnels out into a field, and uh, it's a very narrow strip of woods. So I think these deer use this a lot to, to transition between uh, food and bedding. So should be a good transition area. Uh, we hunted here several several years ago long before we got into filming and anything like that. We, uh, I don't know how many deer we've seen that come in. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> all 10 over or 12 us. right underneath yeah. the stands. Yeah, all yeah. over us. Uh, of course, a lot of does and fawns, but uh, still pretty, would have been some awesome, made for awesome footage. They come in, was eating some uh, acorns right under us. Had one get choked up there, and it was all we could do to not just die. We w we was dying laughing, but we luckily kept it quiet. But yeah. that deer got to 
got me choking on that acorn. That's all it took. We lost all control. But uh, like I said, Justin's Justin's up on first shot here, so uh, he'll probably turn it over to me there in the morning. Uh, we'll see how it pans out. Like I say. Uh, Proven. I mean, unless you can intercept these deer from food to bedding uh, to kill a kill a mature deer, which is what we're looking for, is tough to do early season. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully these deer will, will start moving, and uh, maybe some of these does will kick some bucks up on their uh, on their way out to this field. But uh, we got got three days to get to hunt this morning uh, of course I don't know what the rest of the weekend's looking like but uh, three days of velvet velvet season here and we take a break right there and come back uh, archery comes in but Did you hear that? where's that at? Some rustling down there in the leaves, but got uh, like I say, we've been running trail cameras in Ohio for a month and a half, maybe six weeks, seven weeks, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, we, uh, one of our sponsors, Stealth Cam, we tried using the Verizons up there and just didn't work out. And Cuddy Pack was gracious enough to come on board with us and uh, we got those up and they're, work, they're working excellent. We got the cutting links. Uh, that brings up the issue of what I was saying about uh, the deer being on a, on a pattern. Of course, all you hunters know that, but that's a proven stat. We know there are some giants in there. I mean, it's surrounded by corn, bean fields. Um, but we're not getting we're not getting any mature deer, and uh, that's because they're they're mainly feeding, bedding, feeding, bedding, and uh, they've just not ventured out very far. So uh, fingers crossed for up there. We, like I say, we know there's some giants walking around up there. So. How many batters did you get with it? Just got one right now.
he's all lounged out with his arm hanging out there. It's pretty cool. Uh, should be getting close to time for stuff to start moving. But, uh, yeah, beautiful day in the woods regardless. There'll be some does. Hopefully start moving. I hear it's, uh, almost 7.15, so they ought to start making their way out towards this field. So far, this is the uh, first outing with the thermocell here. We've never tried them. Do you guys use them in the woods in early season? That puppy's pumping right now. So far, I haven't seen one mosquito, so... Seems to be working because they're pretty bad this time of year. Anyhow, man, real quick before we jump off here, because like I said, some action is probably going to start. Kind of starting a, uh, a series here. It's just going to be some basic footage, kind of like I was telling you guys back at the house. It's uh, going to be uh, whether we kill something or not. I'm trying to be uploading some videos. I'm not going to sink a lot of time into editing. Just uh, some raw footage, you know, give you guys a glimpse of what, what we deal with here in Tennessee, especially. So, uh, It's like a couple of sponsors on each, each one. So we'll start out uh, with PSE Bows and uh, Sin Crusher. Two top notch uh, sponsors this year. Uh, I'm shooting the PSE response. It's a, it's a top notch bow, shoots great. And uh, of course, Sin Crusher. Names in itself there, so if you don't have any either of those products, go out and uh, round some stuff up from BSE and some Sin Crusher products. You won't be disappointed. Let's change gears. Let's get back to hunting. Or Instagramming. Yeah, we're making. Like, uh, Making a post right now, so like that thing. Yeah, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Holler Ridge Outdoors, and Facebook. Share a video for us too on the YouTube. We could use all the help we can get trying to get some uh, audience built up, guys. We'll, uh, we're gonna be bringing y'all some good footage this year. So anyhow, let's get it. snack. Got a little over an hour left of hunting life. We're going to nestle in. It should be time for these deer to get up and start moving and starting to cool down. So hopefully something comes strolling through. So we're going to get comfortable for this last hour of this set. minutes in, but we won't get a full 30 minutes uh, shooting light after sunset. So. Something's going to happen. It's going to happen quick. Regardless, it's been a good set in the woods. Feels good to be back in the stand. Get to do this for the next two days. Then we got about a month break before season kicks back in. excited to go to Ohio this year. 
hopefully come back with a couple brutes from up there. And it'd be cool to take a uh, take a buck here in our hometown this year. I know where some good doe spots are, so we'll definitely uh, we'll definitely put some meat in the freezer this year. But anyhow, we're going to finish this set and uh, pack it up for the night. So we'll check back in with you. All right, guys, we uh, no luck tonight, so we're gonna pack up and head down the tree. We got a coon watching us here, so. We're gonna get packed up, get out of here, and uh, next time you see us, we'll be heading here in the morning. So, appreciate y'all for watching. Be sure you uh, like and subscribe on the video. Plenty of content coming. Share it for us. We greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a good night.